Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Satisfactorio. Oh, I kid, I kid. Satisfactory with me, Biffa. Today, we're going to start the factory. We've got all this stuff down here that we've been working on, getting the game running, knowing how it all works together, and we know. So we're going to build a big factory down here. Well, we're going to make a start on it. We've got absolutely tons and tons of space. So between episodes, I made myself another couple of containers. So instead of having my three lines going into one i've now got those copper wire things going into one the plates going into one and the rods going into another just so we could have can i go down here please please oh ladders in games what is the problem with ladders in games uh yes yeah, so we're collecting loads of rods in there loads of plates in there and loads of wire in there which is working rather nicely now once we've got the factory set up, I know we can get more out of this setup. Because each of these drills, if you remember before, produces... When, oh, clock speed. Ah, oh, that's where we can upgrade the clock speed. Yes. Well, we don't want to do that just yet. These produce 60 per minute, which will actually run two smelters. Because these only do 30 per minute. So each of those is two smelters. Um, and then each configurator is 15 per minute. So each smelter would have two of those. So one drill can basically do four constructors yes which is which is pretty fantastic so we could really start ramping up from just from these two iron nodes that'll be the same from the copper node and uh, slightly different for the uh this one over here the limestone one because we're only going let's have a look i don't know what the figures are on here actually whether it's still 60 we're not smelting are we so, oh, so this is only 30 and then the configurator's 15. So, yeah, we can go two with those. Uh, there's not much else, though, we can make with the concrete, though, is there? There's literally the concrete. That's it. Power shards. Uh, we need to maybe make some of those at some point. But we have, hopefully, tons and tons and tons of concrete. So, let's grab that. And if we start running out, then we can always double that up, can't we? Power should be fine. Let's just double check that while we're here. I've got a load of biomass turned into biofuel so let's just fill that up um yeah so let's have a look at this space down here i'm thinking we're going to just use this nice big open flat space here and let's just make some floor let's just make some foundation let's just chuck it down and let's just see how it works so if we jump into here nope not into there into our build menu and i'm pretty sure i need these as well so we're going to grab uh, some, come on, some of those. There we go. So, whoa, went up a ladder. So let's have a look, see what we've got in here. Special production power logistics foundation. So we have the big foundation, 8 by 4 We have a smaller one, 8 by 2 That's 6 concrete, that's 6 concrete. They are both exactly the same. Okay, we have ramps and we have stairs. So flat floor to build your factory on. Let's go by the 8 by 4 Whoa, mama, this is massive. So, I'm assuming once we get these down, everything else will sort of hook into it. So, I am thinking... I mean, it's hard to sort of work this out. If we go like that, and then go like that, there's one of those trees there. I don't want to sort of get rid of that. Yeah, there we go. Let's just put those four down, and just run up here and see whether that's a good angle to go by. I've just noticed that big, uh, that big flying thing's got little ones around it as well. Got his children with him. Yeah, there we go. Look. So we can go straight out and cover this floor. We could go out sideways there a bit. Okay. No. Land on the ladder. For goodness sake. So let's... Oh, that is probably going to be in the way. Let us see what happens. I guess it's covered up. Oh, well, never mind. Well, we've got loads of concrete. So let's start getting these things going. Uh, is that hooking on? That's hooking on. Yeah, it sort of snaps to it. There we go. And we'll make this nice and big. And we can make concrete walls. We can make different types of walls with ways of getting in. There we go. Ways of getting your... Uh, oh, what's it called? Your conveyor belt going in and stuff like that. Yes, it builds over the rock, no problem. All right. So I don't know how big we ended up making this. Four by... <laughs> I, lost, I lost count. Four by one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hello. Zap! Can I zap you? No, I can't. Four by six. Okay. Uh, that should probably do for now. Can I get up on here? We can. 
Maybe I'll stick some ramps over here so we can easily walk up. So let's just ramp this side over here. Uh, ramp 8 by 4. Okay, let's have a look. Ramp 8 by 2. So that's just a bit thinner. Ramp 8 by 4. Yeah, let's go with that one. What does it actually take? Just concrete as well. Nice. Okay. Let's snap some of those in. And there. And there. Excellent. There we go. We can walk up. We can enjoy. Right. So, we're doing good. Now, this area down here is going to be, I think, the storage. Or should we have it? The, mm, I don't know, really, which way to do it. I want the storage at the bottom, I think. Because that way I can just walk in and grab the stuff I want. I think we're going to end up with cars and trucks and things, which might end up... I mean, they could have their own little area over there, couldn't they? So, yeah, let's stick with what we've got so far. So what else have we got? We've got the foundations, we've got the stairs and things. Uh, walls. So we've got normal wall. Multi-floor structures, so that's where the plates come in. And then we have like a wooden wall. So that's four and three. That's four and three, it's the same. And then we've got... Allows human beings to pass through the wall. So that might be what we have on the front. Then we've got wall conveyor. Use these to make buildings on several floors. So that's three conveyor belt connections. Two conveyor belt connections. One perpendicular. Walls connected to other walls and floors. Use these to make buildings on several floors. Has one conveyor belt connection perpendicular to the wall. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, wall door. Wall door left, wall door right. Ah, Okay. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to our foundations. We're going to do that one, and we're going to make it five wide. So let's snap these in here. Three, four, five. Six. There we go. So that should be one, two, three, four, five wide. Yep. We'll get our other slope on here. Oh, hopefully we can fit that in. Uh, eight by whatever it was. Yeah, we can. And then I'm thinking our door. We will go with wall door centre. I quite like the look of those ones. And we'll get one of those in the middle. There we go. And we can walk in. And we can walk out. There's no actual door, I don't think. No, there isn't. Uh, what else have we got? We've got all the conveyor ones. We may start adding conveyor ones and stuff. Allows humans to pass through. Let's go with these. So let's sort of fill up this side. Some of these are going to have conveyors on at some point. We'll, we'll we'll work that out when we get there. Yeah, nice. I like that. And then if I can walk in here and I've got one, two, three... Oh, I can't have one in the middle. This is going to be our walkway. So one, two, three, four of our storage thingies. So if we go uh, organization storage containers. Have I got all the stuff I need for those? Yes, we have. So let's see. Uh, orange is in. Yep. So we're going to start back here. Can that sort of snap onto that square? Yes. Is that snapped? Yeah, so I have one there. They also pile on top of each other, by the way. Look at that. So if you want to go up higher, you can, which is just great. Um, Alright, they're snapping not quite how I would think. Let's move out of the way and get... Come on, snap. I want you to snap onto here. You've done it like three times. I don't want you up there. I want you here, next to that. Oh, uh, encroaching another's clearance. We're going to get it in a minute. There we go. That's where I wanted it. One, two, and then we're going to go over here as well. Actually, if I don't press the control thing for snapping, it actually goes all right. I think that's not quite lined up. How does that one hang over the back? Yeah, let's move this one forward. There we go. Do, 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 do. Storage container... And, oh yeah, they can still get the green line when it's lined up with it. There we go. That is what we want. And I think that is on there. That is on there. That is on there. Yeah, there we go. So that is our four storage containers. And we could already have these coming in and filling up these. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe do that in a moment. Um, we do need space coming out the back. Now, I'm not quite sure how these are going to work. Where we can sort of go up and through to other things. I guess we'll have to sort of work that out as we go. And we could even make these too high and have a real big have a real big storage area in here and then space for more. 
I think that would be pretty fantastic. Yeah, let's go with that. So that means then we've got a load of walls to place down here. So let me do that. Right, there we go. We've got the walls going up. Uh, we need to get some stairs. I'm not quite sure how the stairs are going to work. So let us have a look. We've got ramp stairs left and stairs right. Oh, one, two. Okay, not quite sure what's going on there. Iron plate. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, let's scroll these around and have a look. So that sort of goes up to a little floor like that. Ah. So if we, let's go back, pick that, no, and go one, two, three, four, five. Does that change? No, we still get the same. So can I have that going round in the middle here? Let us go that way like that. And then will that connect onto there? Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Up round the middle, up round the middle. Uh, next one on here. Yep. Thank you. Up around the middle. And up around the middle. So that brings us up to... Let's go up again. Yep. There we go. And one more. There we go. I want some clearance for those. So that should be... I'm just wondering whether to go up one more. <laughs> that should be the height. You know, the walls will have to go up again. So we've got, I want this place to feel big. It's going to get bigger, but I want it to feel big. Okay, so that's that. Then what about flooring? Uh, let's have a look back over here again. So I'm wondering whether it's just going to be foundation again. As all of this is walls. Yeah, it must be. So I'm going to put a load of... Conveyor belt. Yeah, I'm going to put a load of foundation in here again. Uh, this one here and fill this up. Oh, without a plate. Well, there we go. We've got a massive big floor up here. This is going to be our second floor. Uh, let's run down here. There we go. And then when this is all set up, we'll be able to just come in here and grab all the plates and stuff that we need. Or whatever. Plates, rods, the works. How are these filling up? They're filling up nicely. So, oh, it's this one in the middle. Let's grab some plates. There we go. I'm so glad that this sort of stuff is so cheap to do. To be honest, how much concrete have we got left? Um, let's have a look. 28. Is that it? Yes, let's go and grab some more concrete as well. And it's going to it's gonna improve. The more we build it, the more we get all these conveyor belts and things going in there, the bigger it's going to get and the better it's going to look. This is the one. So let's grab some of these. I'm really feeling like we need a splitter and get two configurators here as that's only doing 15 a minute and get them to go into there. So let's just see if we can add that because we are flying through this concrete uh, constructor. That's what I mean. So let's have that this way. Uh, missing cable. Oh, darn it. Okay, let's go and grab some cable. Not really seeing much pollution in the sky. I was expecting to sort of see clouds overhead. I'm not complaining now. I mean, we are using biomass, so maybe that's okay. Uh, cable. Let's make some of these. There we go. And let's make some of those. I'm still making stuff by hand. By hand. By hand. By hand. Like a newbie. Even though I've got things absolutely full of the stuff over here. But there we go. Right. Let's double up the production on the concrete. There we go. While we're doing other stuff. So constructor. 
Uh, encroaching others clearance. We've got it the wrong way round. Yes. So if we go like that. Excellent. And then I want this to split and go into both. So if we just sort of go like that. Yep, there we go. If we just break that down. Uh, this will be interesting. Let's see if we can do this. Because we haven't got much space, have we? So, what's like the smallest we can do? Darn it. Do you know what? I think we might just need to move all of this forward. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll just move that one over. Uh, we'll get this to come out, say, to here. As this is only going to be temporary anyway. Uh, we'll grab our conveyor splitter. Yep, that's what we want. So how's that go? Oh, I see. That just goes one in and three out. So that's pretty simple. Oh, man, that's pretty big as well, isn't it? Um, so if we just go like that. Let's just make sure we can connect. So number three from there to there. Yeah. And then we want this one from there to there. And then this one. From there to there. Excellent. Then we've got to get our power go. Whoops, excuse me. Get our power going. So there to this one. And there to this one. And then we're going to set these up to be concrete. And that one to be concrete. And then we want both of those to go into here. Uh, this will be fun, trying to get these to fit in. So <laughs> we need to get a merger... Which is those two in and that one out. In fact, if we turn that round like this. Uh, what am I missing? Can't afford missing metal rods. Hey, I know where I can get thousands of those. Let's just run over here and grab this. Not this one, this one. Thank you kindly. And then we can merge both of those to go into here. I don't want to move that. It's got a load of stuff in it, so... Uh, let's grab our merger. So, yep, yeah, that's facing that way. Um, that should be fine. And then we'll have that one come out and go in there. Yep, yeah, we'll have this one come out and go into there. And then hopefully we can swing this one around here. Uh, where's the output? I thought this was the output. Number three. Yep, yeah, convey about into there. Yes! There we go. So we've just doubled our concrete production. Nice. That's what I want to see. I wish it's going to use more power, but we're okay. Got 163. Might as well just chuck some more in there while we're here. There we go. That's filled up. Excellent. So we are doubling our concrete. That is what we want to do. Right, okay. So what's next? What is next? Uh, we've got our storage down here. Let's just go inside and take a look around. There we go. Our storage. Space for more if we want. So what I'm thinking is, is taking out some of these walls here and putting conveyor walls in. So I'm going to take out that one. And that one. And I'm going to take out... That's the best thing about this game is you can take stuff out, put it back in, and it doesn't cost you any extra, which is great. So you can try stuff out. Uh, conveyor wall one. Yep. So I want that one there. Try stuff out. Take it down. If it doesn't work... Do something else. You know, it's brilliant. Means the game is still lots and lots of fun. So, um, that can go from there to there. That can go from there to there. These ones on the top, actually, we may end up spinning them round. So we can come out there and loop round and go up to the top. I'm not going to bother with that now. But, yeah, that could happen. And then that one can go from there to there. So how is that looking? Uh, that is not quite lined up straight, but that's okay. That's going in. That's going in. And that's going in. Excellent, excellent. So I'm just wondering, actually, whether we could start diverting some of these into here. Instead of going in there and actually getting our proper storage going. So if we go from there down. Let's hold down control. Is that going to give me some sort of thing to line up with? No. Left control snap to grid line. We don't have a grid line yet. If I put one down and then do that, will I get a grid line that will line up with that one? No. 
All right, we'll just sort of eyeball it. That's the door. Number three, we'll just sort of go... Just sort of go down here as well. And at the moment, three is all we need. And then that one... Oh, it's our big tower's in the way. That's okay. I'm going to move our tower. Yeah, we'll pop that somewhere else. And we'll pop that one there as well. So then let's hook up this over here to come into here. We are going to break down from there. Thank you. And we're going to connect to that. To here, is that going to go? Yes. Nice. So they're going to start going into there. Uh, that's our power for that one. Uh, what have we got going on here? Oh, this is... Yep, we can take this one down. And there is actually a load in here. So if we take those out... Oh, I've got so much stuff on me. I haven't got enough space. Let's put these plates... Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's not be silly. Uh, the plates are going to be this one here. So we can stick our plates in there. Which is a way of double-clicking to get everything of the same to go in. Uh, this is going to be our rods. We'll drop those in there. And this is going to be these. Let's just sort. And chuck, and chuck, and chuck, and chuck. Yeah, concrete's going to come in here as well, I reckon, isn't it? At the minute, all our concrete's staying over there. So we'll have to sort of deal with that. Let's take those. And let's take... So that is actually empty, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so we can take that one down. There we go. And we can have that. I forget it leaves these pole things everywhere. I have to run along and pick those up. Uh, this is making the plates. So let's grab all of the plates out of here. Let's take that down. And I want to see if we can just stretch this one out nice and straight. So let's come out here. That's basically going in over there, isn't it? Yeah, so let's remove that. I think we're going to lose some plates, but we may... I don't know, they may get put into my inventory. I'm not quite sure how that works. So let's go from there to here. Is it going to reach? Yes, it is. Nice. So let's chuck all of those in. There we go. And that will give us a little bit more space outside if we want to start doubling things up as well. Like we have done with our concrete. If we want to get, get more going. Let's chuck those in. Let's chuck those in. Yep, that will do. So that's that one. And this one we're going to grab... Oh man, so many pipes in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just, just dismantle that. Stop it putting any more in. There we go. Let's grab all of these. Oh, are we full up? No, we're not full up. That one and another hundred? No. That's going to go over here. And then we'll probably have our concrete one coming in the back. Somewhere different. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. Is that all of them? Yes. So let's break down this thing. There we go. There was nothing else in there. That's good. Let's go number three on there. Hook that up to this. Uh, encroaching someone else's clearance. Okay, well, we can get it to there, there, to there. Hooray! Look at that! Fantastic. So, wow, I mean, hmm, until we get more power. Oh, what's going on with you over there? Flashing yellow. Until we get more power, I'm not sure I want to double those up yet. Because we sort of maxed out our power grid over there. And if we get any more, we might uh, we might sort of struggle. So, you're running through. Which ones are flashing? You. Why are you flashing? Oh, you're waiting for stuff to come in. Oh, uh, you shouldn't be. We worked this out, didn't we? 30 a minute, and these only need 15 a minute. So, if it splits into two... Oh, but it needs three a go. Ha! Huh. Maybe splitting that down hasn't actually sped things up. I didn't realise it needed three a go. Oh, well, it's done. Let's just leave that going. Oh, nice. So where are we going to put our lookout tower? Let's maybe pop that over here. We've got uh, somewhere to put it. Uh, the hub, production, power, logistics, foundation, walls, organisation, lookout tower. Can't afford 
What are you talking about? I've got plates coming out of my ears. Let's run into here and grab some of those. Uh, that's this one. Tell you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a stack of those. I'm going to grab a stack of those. And I'm going to grab a stack of these. Yeah, just so I've always got some on me. I'm trying to go out the window there. There we go. Let's put this thing down here. And of course we've got this other iron node as well. But I, I really want to get power going. Power is the one thing that we're sort of struggling with. Let's pop that. Where's the ladder? Let's pop that there. There we go. Let's run up this and have a look. Have a look at our building. Ta-da! Nice. Our warehouse is going up. Did I forget the back wall around there? I think I might have just forgot the top back wall. That is looking good. That is looking good. So, I mean, we could have... Hmm, I feel like I want to move these all along one. <laughs> and have the concrete going into there. It means moving everything around. Maybe we'll do that. We'll, we'll let that one fill up first. Once that's filled up and we can start moving all our machines... I think that's probably how it's going to go. So what I imagine is, is we have our drills. The conveyor belts come in up the top. And there we have our smelters and our constructors. So smelters, constructors, then storage on the bottom. So we're going to have to go up another couple of floors. And then we can sort of rejigger re -jigger these down there. But the fact that it, you know, you can pick them up, put them down. It doesn't cost you anything. That's pretty darn good. I'm liking that a lot. So, would you also like to play Satisfactory? Well, it goes into early access on March the 19th. And you can use the link that I have below if you wish to purchase it yourself. And it would just kick back a little bit to me. It cost you exactly the same um, off the Epic Store. But I get a little bit of a bonus from it. And it will help support me and my family and my channel. So if you're going to do that, use my link. That would be fantastic. I think you'd enjoy this game. I'm absolutely having a blast with it. I'm just trying to record as much as I can before the special weekend is over. And keep some videos coming for you guys. So we're going to have some more. Hit the subscribe button. The big B with a T stain. Do subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.